Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be taking the brand new Aston Martin Valkyrie Alfrey Max Test Drive in Asphalt 9. The Valkyrie currently has a special event running for it, and it requires 85 blueprints to unlock. It is not a key card. In the event are two days apiece for the Aston Martin Victor and the Apollo Intenza Emotion, two Legend Pass cars. However, since you don't have to 100% complete the event to get a key for this car since it isn't a key car, and you only have to get to 200 conditions, to unlock the packs for this car, which you can then purchase. I don't actually think you have to have Legend Pass cars in order to get this car. If my calculations are correct, I added up all the conditions in the first part of the event, aside from any of the Victor and Apollo IE ones, and at each stage I calculated that I had more than enough conditions to get to the next stage, all the way up to 200 plus. Meaning that if you had most of the other cars in the event at high stars, you should be able to unlock this one without either of the Legend Pass cars. So I'm going to see how far I can get in the event. I do not think I have some of the other cars start up enough to be able to get to that point, but we'll definitely see. The Valkyrie, when compared to the Valhalla, has slightly higher top speed and quite a bit better nitro efficiency, but slightly lower acceleration and handling. Its stats are actually very similar to the Imola's, and in S-Class, its speed is similar to the Icona's. Stay tuned for my general review at the end of the video, and I hope you enjoy these races.
Now I'll give my general review about this car. In each of the four tracks, it performed quite well. I didn't have any trouble on any of them. The issue with this car is that its top speed is only 244 miles per hour. I feel like this car would be more at home at the top of A-Class, where it would compete very well with cars like the Amola, but in S-Class, its speed is just too low for it to be very competitive. I think it could be pretty good in multiplayer, but definitely not high in Legend League, as you get beat by Yeskos all over the place. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more asphalt and other games content and i will see you in my next video goodbye